Hey everybody, had some people asking me how I was making the face shields for the uh, for the shields that we're making for the hospitals. I have a bunch of pieces of 0 .04 inch PETG sheet. Um, I've cut them down to nine and a half by nine and a half inches, um, but they're a little bit stiffer than what we would like, and they they they'll work in the in the uh, headbands like they are, but they don't quite fit the way they should. So what we want to do is heat form them. So I got our old toaster oven here. It's set to 225. And there's a piece of sheet metal inside of there that's been cleaned off that they sit on. Um, when they start to heat up, they'll curl up towards the heat first. And then once they get hot enough, they'll relax back down and they'll pretty much flop just flat on the uh, piece of metal. And that's when you know it's ready to come out and then we're going to form it over here here we go much more floppy you lay it over this um this big piece of pipe here is a piece of eight inch steel i had um big enough glass jar would work um anything that's not going to leave an imprint in it and then i put this other piece of sheet metal over the top to kind of hold it down and make sure it stays flat. I found if I don't do that, I end up getting waves in it and it's, uh, it's more difficult to look through, basically, if you don't want that. Peel that back off. And it comes out with a preformed curve, so it'll fit much better and with much less stress in the headbands. Thanks.